Chainsaw bar. What the hey diddle diddle? Petrified now. That's disgusting. You have to check your own rear end. Kibble some bits. Look at that. Ew. This is disgusting. That is disgusting. Just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my chiseled jawline. You should move. It's right next to the makeup aisle, JC Penny. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Shoe polish, fix that. Slip the noodle. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, everybody knew that. Godzilla engine. Wrong auto got us again. Do you want a sailboat? No, I don't need a sailboat. House train snapping turtle. Are you happy with yourself, honey? Been there and done that. Kinkle dinkled it. Thicker than them girls in the music videos. This time. This time. Oh, rocket diarrhea. <laughs> Murder Hornet. Happy birthday to me. Case and Killer 9000 here. Still missing some stuff. <laughs> you wanna clean your crack, guys. Don't let that thing get dirty. Oh, all right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Don't run your mother over. Oh. <laughs> and we're spinning the casings. You oh. thought I was a bad driver. Give it a little road test. Then we make it up this hill. Chevys are better, more reliable. Fake news, son. That's not good. I've never went backwards down a road. Is it illegal? <laughs> What's wrong now? Come on. What's going on with your hair? She got them childbearing hips. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the old Ford truck here. This thing's been in the same family its whole life. It's got a inline six 215. If you watched the other videos where we got this thing running, got it cleaned up and shined up again, go check those out after this one probably. We are gonna work on the brakes today and try to get some new casings on this. Ralphie's at the farm helping my grandparents, so Wawa's here to help today. She wanted to help me a little bit on it. This truck has a really incredible story. The guy that owns it now, which is the son of who bought it new, drove this thing to high school back in the 60s. How incredible is that? This thing's lived through a tornado attack even. I mean, can you believe that? Who can say that? Let me show you the parts we got to put on this thing and uh, hopefully wrong auto didn't get us again. So we got some travel star casings here from Coker and we've got a bunch of stuff here from wrong auto and a new carburetor from eBay. So this is the best $100 knockoff carburetor we could get from the factory one. And they had some brake parts they had already bought for the wheel cylinders. So we're gonna try to use them if we can. Got a new oil filter, so we're gonna do carb, uh, oil change and filter. Uh, we got a new fuel pump for it, new brake. So we're gonna just revamp this whole thing, aren't we, Wawa? Yep. And then we're gonna drive it. You think you can drive a three on the tree? Can you remember from the 42 Ford? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Shut up, Mom. I was hoping you'd come help me. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> He's you driving, driving on driving you. up against me? <laughs> What are you doing, Rocky? He has figured out again how to get out of his cage. We had it fixed for a while where he couldn't get out. Now he's figured out how to get out again. Are you helping me unpack the parts? Oh. Walk. It's funny. I see up when he gets that foot going. Oh, yeah. It's funny to me that the carburetor came with these. No. It's like a paint gun cleaning brushes. I've never bought a carburetor and it came with stuff to clean it already. So somebody has swapped this thing over to 15 inch hoops. It should have originally had 16s and you can see the center is a different size. Yeah, I believe that's a May pop right there you're looking at, fellers. Man, I wonder when they bought this. So bias ply like that. Man, they're all you see how that's bulged out there, Wawa, and mm -hmm. wore out more here than there. I bet that thing rides like terrible on those. Look at that. Nixon was probably still in office when that air got put in there. Looks like it has tubes in it. Something funny they told us about this thing. This is an old chainsaw bar that they have welded on here and bent and made tail light brackets from. I didn't notice it until they told me that. Explain to me how this is helping. Uh, I'm being supportive. 
What the hey diddle diddle, that thing, this is an inch and a sixteenth and it won't fit the oil drain plug. Well, that's not a good sign, that thing was just hand tight. I hope it's not stripped out, I hope somebody just forgot to tighten it all the way. Let's see what the oil looks like here. Ooh, pretty black. They usually always are, aren't they, on these old ones. You could have a darn acorn in there and it would come out through that drain hole though. Thank you, Wawa, for the blue towels. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the nut right here for this oil filter. It looks like somebody has welded the nut to the canister. I'm not so sure we're gonna be able to get this off. I don't know what they've done, but it's definitely been welded on. Well, I was able to get this free. We'll have to look at this bolt when they get it out and see what they did to this. I like these old canister filters. You can nearly see what's going on inside the oil without cutting it open. I didn't even notice that. They weld a half inch drive. It's like the end of an extension on the end of this thing. Maybe they just did that to make it easier to get off because they round this off. I don't know. Look at that. That's just like goop that settled down the bottom of it. Ooh, that sludge. These older engines like this, a lot of them only filter part of the oil. They don't filter everything. You find a lot of early engines like this have a lot of sludge and junk in them. A lot of that looks gray like it has metal in it. We got it pretty good in there. That was really got a lot of junk in it. So it looks like the fiber washer goes there. You put this back together with the spring and then it's got the rubber washer and then the filter. So it looks like I'm gonna try to put some grease on this to get this gasket to stick because I can't get the O-ring to stick, stay up there in place where I need it. Will that stay there now? Yeah. That little thing they weld on the end is, is really off center, but I tried to get my half inch ratchet on it and it, there's not enough room between it and the frame to even get it on there. I really hope this is not stripped out. Yeah, it's not stripped out. It was just left loose. We're gonna go ahead and use the oil that was in the cab of the truck when we got it. Got some Havoline here, 10W40, that ought to work, brand new. Looks like we're good on oil now. And you could kill somebody with these old car dipsticks. All right, we're gonna take this spider off of here. All these wires are like petrified now. I went ahead and replaced the rotor button and it already has new points from before. We'll just snap this new cap and rotor on here and get our new plug wires on. It also already had new plugs and new cool, so we don't need to do any of that stuff right now. Man, this cap is nice. It has every cylinder numbered on there so you don't have to remember which one was which really. I actually ordered this wire set for a, a 63 Falcon because they didn't have one for this, but it fits, I figured it would. Now I guess we're gonna move on to our fuel system and hopefully our fuel pump is correct. That would be nice. It doesn't have the little uh, sediment filter on top and maybe we can swap that top cover out for it. And once again, our $100 carburetor here that we hope works. These are half inch bolts down here that hold this pump on. Well, it looks like it will actually pump fuel, but it looks like there's no provisions for putting this sediment filter on top of there. So definitely gonna keep this, not gonna throw it away. Can't be, uh, you know, maybe they're not making them anymore. So I wanna keep this in the truck for them, but we're gonna put this on there and you put an inline filter. You gotta make sure you have it on the load or if it has a push rod, you gotta make sure the push rod's up on top of it or you're not gonna pump anything. It's kind of weird not having Ralphie here talking about Ford Rangers for sale or <laughs> something on Marketplace that doesn't run, some Corvette he saw. It's kind of a relief. <laughs> I really hope we can swap over this bowl onto the other one. I don't know if that's gonna be possible either, but it's gonna be sad if it's not possible. And if you're wondering why we're replacing all this, if you haven't seen the other videos, this is completely stripped out here. We were pouring gas out of here when we did it before and the fuel pump didn't work. So let's see if this clear bowl will fit on this other one or not. Come on, please fit. 
Hey, that looks like it might fit, Wawa. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I am so happy that this glass bowl fits on this Chinese carburetor. It's awesome. Let's transfer over our old mechanical choke here. I am a big fan of mechanical choke. If I've got a carbureted car, I want everything to be mechanical on it. Give me them roll-up windows, you know? Give me that manual steering. I'm fine with it. No radio. Didn't need it anyway. Oh, yeah. That should be fine. So I ran into a problem here. The linkage just has a hole, whereas the other one had this welded-on stud. Well, I had a spare one of these out in the storage van out here. I believe this came off the 59 Rambler project, and it has a bolted-on one, so we're going to steal it off there. There you go. Sometimes it's good to save old junk, right? I think they ran the same carburetor on just about everything for like, I don't know, ever. Uh, I've seen a lot of different cars had the same carburetor. So I did have to make a couple modifications. I had to cut the hard line coming from the vacuum advance on the distributor and put a rubber hose on the end of it because this did not have a threaded boss for that. But for the most part, it's a really easy install. Unfortunately, this metal line had been cut before, so we're putting a rubber line between here and the pump, and we're going to do an inline filter since we can't use the factory style. So now we got to finish up the fuel system by doing the fuel tank back here. So we're going to pull the seat back out, me and Wawa. We can't go home together. Watch my car. You got to love this carpet, don't you? It looks so nice. It does. The gas tank is in really good shape, it looks like. So we should be able to unbolt this tool tray off here and get the tank out and get it cleaned up. You guys were saying that this is a factory tool tray in here. We actually read the comments and usually respond. That's pretty neat that it had that tool tray. Is that all that holds it in? That's incredible. I have no idea how much fuel this thing has in it. There we go. Probably is the easiest tank I've ever taken out right there. So somebody spliced the fuel line down here in the bottom, so we're gonna have to disconnect that. Probably have to run a new line too, looks like. The tank looks basically brand new. I wonder what our, our fuel looks like. Ooh, not so new there. That's disgusting. Oh, it's, it smells wonderful also. Yeah, this is why you have to flush an old tank like this. It's probably got at least half a tank of fuel in it. How nasty is that? It smells. This is the best thing I've smelled. <laughs> so now we got all that molasses out of there. We'll put some fresh gas down in it, slosh it around, rinse it out a couple times, and then hopefully it'll be good to go. It's pretty rusty in there still. I hope that's not gonna cause us any problems. We'll wash it out as best we can, but you may be swapping out fuel filters for a while, you know? We flushed it out like three times, so still kind of brown coming out, but a lot better than it was. Hopefully this will work. Man, I love this simple one wire hookup here on the steering unit. So we got some interesting stuff going on here. Now they had told me that they had replaced the master cylinder at one point. So it looks like the master cylinder is not terribly old. It's a little rusty, but we got a brake line going to what I believe, I think that's the front right brake line that's cut in a screw run in this fitting. And then the rear one comes back here and it's been cut right here. So it only has a brake line going to left front. So we're going to have to remake right front and rear brake lines at least depending on the condition of this one, we may have to do all new brake lines. Similar thing here, the metal factory fuel line's been cut off right here. And there's a rubber hose. It's run back here to where the fuel tank comes out right there. We're going in to eat something and this is how it works with him. If you're walking towards the house, he just thinks, well, I mean, I guess I'll go to the house with y'all. <laughs> you, you gotta stay outside. You gotta stay outside, okay? I'll be back out, I'm gonna eat, I'll be right back. Be good. Yeah, he's good if you're feeding him and petting him. He yeah, acts good play. then. And why are you sitting in the seat? So that he don't eat it. Exactly, because he was trying to eat it. What are you doing out here? You never come out. Did the trip across the country make you okay with being in the shop now? Ooh. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and check this tiny transmission while I'm under here. A lot of people don't check this stuff. Oh, look at that. Need some fluid. Here's another big one nobody checked. Check your rear end, guys. Nobody's gonna check it for you. 
You have to check your own rear end. See? Nothing. So we'll see how much this thing holds. It's pretty low. That thing was exactly one quart low. Man, that's a lot for one of these little transmissions. That was probably a half a quart low, something like that. All right, we got our new fuel hose ran up here. I rerouted it down the passenger side because that's where the pump is anyway. And the old one went around and up this way. I didn't really see any need for that. So we just ran it this way. So we're going to start working on the front brakes here. I'm trying to get this grease cap off. It's been beat on a little bit. It's funny how that old grease starts to separate. It gets really liquidy, like almost like oil. And then the, the grease part of it will get really hard. This is actually super loose already. Well, I've got tired of sitting stuff in the floor. I usually put it all in the grease cap and then it gets knocked over by one of my kids or Rocky. So I've got fancy and I've put them in a tote down there. This is kind of crazy. It has a keeper on every stud. Usually you don't see this unless a vehicle has not had the brakes changed because most people don't put these back on. Usually you only see maybe two or three and this has five. Well, they're not grooved real bad. I thought this was actually attached to the drum, but it wasn't. But we got to take it off anyway to re-grease everything. She's going to have this everywhere. She already got it on her eyebrow. Yeah, just wipe it on that box or something. <laughs> oh, Is weird. it chunky? Yeah, it's more than chunky. It's like kibbles and bits. Over You've here. only got it on your arm, your leg, and your face. <laughs> right, listen, I didn't mean to, okay? Wait, is it, is it just spreading? Wait, You're going to get on, on your, your arm. shorts. It's on your arm. Step. Our brake shoes look like they're basically brand new 40 years ago so we're probably going to keep them they don't seem to be falling apart yet we're just going to change our wheel cylinders because they are always bad it's funny how drum brakes uh really haven't changed in you know whatever it is 80 years or something look at that Ew. inside those wheel cylinders yeah that's why we change them and you can rebuild them but you know when you buy them off wrong auto they're like six dollars so i just end up you know time is money there brake hose there and one thing i've learned over time with these brake hoses is just cut them here and that way you can put a socket straight on there and take it off this is disgusting <laughs> mama likes picking yeah, up stuff I don't like know. that this is the part i like to do it's pretty nice. see now you can just get a 5 8 socket on it and just break it loose like that the two bolts that hold the wheel cylinders on are half inch well, we're gonna have to get the JC Penny hammer out. It's my hammer. It works. This is what happens when you have a car that's actually parked for, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, like we work on here. But oh, that's what the inside of the wheel cylinder looks like. That is disgusting. And that's yeah. why the brakes don't work. That's why the brakes don't work. Mm. Yeah, you can't just throw brake fluid in them and drive them again. It doesn't really work like that. I think it's correct. Well, I think they did this all right on these front brake hoses. It's usually the back ones that they send wrong. I'll tell you, putting new brake hoses and adjusting your brake shoes makes a huge difference on performance with a drum brake setup. It'll make a big difference. Man, look at all the junk in this grease, huh? You don't want all that trash in your grease. You'll run a wheel off real quick, just like my wife. So wheel bearing grease is in the motorhome in South Dakota right now. <laughs> so... We're going to have to go it buy keep, it keeps great. crunching. It just keeps, just keeps biting slowly, you, don't it? Slowly we realize more stuff we leave than that we left. What was the other house. thing we left? Oh, the sorry. rear end fluid Oh, stuff. yeah, the gear oil. I think I left the gear oil mm -hmm. in the motorhome too, the gear oil bottle. We're going to have to get a couple things from the store for sure. Pretty fantastic. Well, it's already almost 9 o'clock if you can't tell. And uh, Rambo over here is ready to go in. <laughs> So, we're going to go inside yeah. and watch yeah, you, yeah, you, just you already have it above your listen, eye. Listen, listen. What? <laughs> oh, man. I got you. I got Not you. on my chiseled jawline. We're going to go in and watch Jeopardy, and we'll come back out to this tomorrow. Okay, Rambo? I mean, look at this side for Rambo, but now you really are. <laughs> it's the next day, and me and Ralph are going to town to buy some bearing grease and we're gonna get back home and start on that and ralphie's hair was what it what's the measurement on tonight four inches tall it's about four inches i think you think that's gonna be enough grease for us yeah let me guess you want to eat something right yes i'm starving you didn't do the wavy 
It's getting gravy. <laughs> if you don't have a Hardee's where you live, you should move, right? Yes. Started raining, so that's awesome. Rocky's here to help. No. <laughs> We tried to clean all our old grease off this outer bearing and pack this new grease into there. We got it packed full of new high temp wheel bearing grease. Our bearing. So I usually snug them down and back it off a little bit. You don't want your bearings to be too tight. Always put a little extra in the cap, you know, just for good measure. It's really raining now. We just got started and it's pouring the rain. There you go. You want to adjust these out until they just start to drag. You're pretty close. There we go. On to our first brake line we're going to try to take loose. These are usually the big thing that is a pain. Now we sprayed these with PB Blaster. You see they twist like that right there. That's the issue. So sometimes we got to heat them up. Sometimes you can hold them here real gently and turn it we're gonna probably gonna try to hold it first i've got a pair of vice grips on the line here without kinking it and i'm trying to hold it still while we try to break the tube nut loose did that turn there bud well we were able to get it there with this one so that does work if you can hold the metal line as close as possible to the tube nut a lot of times you can get them break loose that way sometimes you gotta heat them up and stuff what is she doing in here that thunderbird is such a chick magnet <laughs> now if you want to get one of those pink hammers like i've got it's right next to the makeup aisle at jc penny all right we got everything done on this side so new hose new wheel sonder repack the bearings let's go on to the other side i probably won't show every step of the process because it's repetitive drums look pretty good here shoes are nice and thick still look at those beauties i'm not used to that I think stuff we're I think we're gonna be okay, Ralphie. Okay. So here's our brake hose on the other side before we ever even touched it. Can you believe how rotten that thing is? Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Isn't that crazy how much stuff gets built up in there? Hit it on the ground. Uh, wow. All that junk in there. Well, thankfully, this passenger front line came right loose i think the other end the one that's been cut so we may have to trace this down and see if we're going to have to union it together or just make a whole new line and i wish you could feel how chunky this is it has so many chunks in it that grease has just turned hard inside there so we're going to dig out everything we can get out of here Spain is getting snacks out here oh wow all right we're going to get this thing up in the air and get underneath it see about the condition of that brake line and get the back hoops off this thing and see about changing the rear wheel cylinders. Ellie's out here helping today. Are you excited about driving this thing? Yeah. You like them three on the tree, don't you? Is that fun? Yeah. You've got cracks in the middle of the tread. That's fine. Shoe polish, fix that. Well, I got under here and it looks like we're gonna need a U-joint too. This bottom U-joint looks like it's slipped the noodle. Now on to the next problem. We have a looks like self-tapper run into this brake line to stop it from working. Maybe we can just reflare the end of this thing and put a new tube nut on it. I don't know if we got enough to work with or not. I wonder if that actually sealed up like that. Looks like it's too coarse of threads to seal up, but maybe it did. Hey, can one of you get in there and stomp the brake pedal so I can see if there if it's gonna push fluid out of here? Now I'm not talking about stomping like copperhead roads on, okay? Oh, that's plenty. Oh, okay, thank you. You soaked me. All right, well, that's clean now. Let's see how this line does. Oh, yeah, she's turning with me. This is the one that got cut going to the back right here. So we'll just break it off and make a new one. No, just push down the brake pedal real slow. I mean, like a Lance Moore set song's on. Try it again. Okay, all right. So we're getting fluid out of both those passages, so that's good. Well, I've got sidetracked here on this rear U-joint. I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and see what it looks like. Do you have a new one? No, we don't have a new one. I'm taking it out and that way we can get a new one for it. Look. That's not good. Not good at all. Look at the strap on here. Everybody knew that made moonshine. This is what happens to them. See the inside of that? I thought you just put a battery on them and they just drove. Oh, that's right. 
after 20, 30 years. If I hear one more remark about a Godzilla engine. Oh yeah, Ralphie's over here, Godzilla this. A Godzilla. -er. Maybe we have a correct rear brake pose this time. That'd be cool. Well, for like the millionth time, wrong auto got us again on the rear brake hose. What? So look, the size is totally wrong. Almost always, the rear brake hose. They always send it wrong. I'm just gonna stop ordering any rear brake hoses from them. So we're gonna have to get a rear brake hose and a U-joint. Do you want a sailboat? No, I don't need a sailboat, and I don't need you on Facebook Marketplace anymore. Wait, do you want a club car? I don't need to buy anything. This is what he does all the time. He's like, Dad, Dad. House train snapping turtle. <laughs> this thing is super stuck in there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Headline for your crock. What are you looking at on the internet? I told you about things you look at on the internet. <laughs> are you happy with yourself, honey? Um, He's it's... looking at headlight crocs on the internet. So we're over here in our stack of wheel cylinders and hoses that wrong auto sent us. So this is the one they sent us that's wrong, but just maybe looks like one of these could be correct. I think one of these will work. I can't believe they did me wrong, but they did me right a long time ago and I just didn't know it. See, just a blessing in disguise, you know? I'm gonna tell you this one more time. All right, you put the thing on there when you're making brake lines. You take this guy right here level it up right there okay and crank her down so once you get this thing tightened down tighter than your stepdad when you're asking for date night money then you put your correct die in here tighten this down squish this thing down flat and you back it back off so once you get that die out of there you put this on here squish her down flat again and you always make sure you got your tube nut on first mm. been there and done that got the t-shirt we're going to try to route it the same kind of direction that it was from the factory. So whoever did this exhaust had to be related to me. I mean, 100% on that. We got coat hanger action here. C-clamp and a hose clamp holding this end up. I mean, I respect whoever did this. Oh, look at that, honey. It kinkled dinkled it. Uh-oh. It was too rusted, so we're going to have to make a new line. Well, once again, drums aren't grooved. Shoes look thicker than them girls in the music videos. And remember, brake shoes are just like class pictures. Tall ones in the back. And look how nice. So this thing is gonna go from here, it goes under there, through the hole it was in from the factory, down the rail and up to the front brake hose up there. We'll cross our fingers on that last brake line there that goes up to the front we may be making that later in this video so there we go we got all those brake line done right there got the one back here got the new hose installed now we're gonna do the rear wheel cylinders Bloop. look at that this time this time this time so you do enough of these and you start trying to leave the brake shoes on when you replace the wheel cylinder so you don't have to redo everything. Well, they bought these a few years back from Napa and of course they're correct. Okay, we got it all buttoned up. Got just a little bit of drag, we should be all right. Now we'll just go do the other side. We didn't look at the other one though, yeah. Same kind of deal there. That's why you always replace them. I think we got all the brake stuff done. What? All right. I believe we do. We just gotta bleed it and make sure we don't have any leaks. <laughs> Where's your seat? <laughs> all right. You ready to pump the brakes? Yeah. You tell me when. Uh, hold it down. Oh yeah, Taco Tuesday. Oh. Oh, rocket diarrhea. <laughs> awesome. They're a lot harder. Oh yeah, it feels nice down there. When we lucked out with that last brake on there, it doesn't seem to be bad. We'll be the first ones to know about it if it is bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take this U-joint out now. I called to see if they had one installed. They don't even know which number's right, so I'm gonna have to measure the caps and everything. 
supposed to be greased in there if you didn't know. Not rust. You think you two can grease that front one so it don't go out? Yeah. There it goes. I think it's going in now, isn't it? Oh, it's coming up the dang side. Never mind. Hey, we'll be good for another 100,000 miles now. Just think how many more miles it'll make it because of that grease. Look how rusted in these clips are. These may be the original U joints. You don't ever know. Oh, it already broke it. Snapped it in half. Did that hit you? I don't want to see it. That was like <laughs> super close. Don't hit me, don't hit me. So we got a socket that's bigger than the U-joint cups on the other end, and one that's like the same size or just barely smaller on this end. And we're gonna use our vise to press this thing out if I can ever hold on to the socket. Ooh, man. God, that's stuck. All right, we've stepped it up to the press now because the vise wouldn't do it. There you go, let's start moving up. Are you working hard? Yeah. It just popped the U joint out, is all it did. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Sorry. Did you get scared of it? No. Yeah, you did. You did. Sorry. <laughs> it just made a pop, that's all. Murder Hornet. Spotted. Spotted Murder Hornet. I'm surprised I didn't scream. I did. So, look, there was no needles left in that side at all. I'm sure this one's just full of powder and rust, yeah. So, all those little needle guys are gone. You want one, please? Yeah, I want one. Thought you would. Happy birthday to me. I'm gonna probably have to take this to town later on when they're open and see what I need to get because right now they're closed. Well, it's the next morning. I'm the only one awake and I'm gonna go ahead and try to break down these casings on the Casing Killer 9000 here. Getting in there. There we go. So like any typical older vehicle, you gotta grease everything. Probably gonna go look for some paint for those wheels. Don't have anything here, that's why I stopped on that. One more thing we're gonna change on this thing is we're gonna put radiator hoses on it. So these are an old flex hose, which I'm not a super fan of, but actually when I went to the parts store, that was the only thing they offered to replace it with. But this one's kinda cracked out, you know, some people are. Can I hit the drain pan with it? Probably not. Oh no, definitely not. Look at the end of that thing, how smushy it is. It's falling apart. You got some cracks in these ridges too. I can still remember the first time I ever realized there was such a thing as a flex hose like this. My dad had a 63 Impala SS409 car when I was in junior high. We blew a radiator hose out driving it and had to stop and change one in an emergency and we put a flex hose on it and i don't know every time i see a flex hose i think about us being that impala 409 car with my dad both these hose plants are stuck man it's stuck on there like crazy somebody must have glued this thing down or something it's more stuck than that time i was in south dakota so we're gonna have to cut it off and then go back with like a screwdriver or a pick tool and scrape it off the radiator i guess i got most of it Still missing some stuff. So I should be able to get up under this now and pry it off in here. I don't know why it's so stuck. Okay, we got the molded radiator hose on there. I like those a lot better. I wish there was an option for that for the top at the local parts store, but there's just not. So we should be good to go now on our hoses. Hopefully we won't have anything blow out when it gets hot or leak. Man, this radiator is in a super high position, which is really good because that allows to get the air out of the system. If your radiator cap's not higher than your engine, you're gonna have trouble with air pockets. We better get this mess cleaned up before Rocky gets back in here, a scooter or something. Hanging out on your casing out here. This is where he likes to hang out. He likes to sit on the casings. So does Pudding over here and Dolly. Kiddos finally woke up. We went to town in the kid hauler. The U-joint that we got for it is not the one it recommends on their website. So this is the one we ended up getting. It's just a standard 1310 style U-joint, but I don't know if the rear end's been swapped or what, but something's not uh, original apparently. And we got it all installed there with the new C-clips on there. So let's just install this drive shaft and we're almost done, man. Oh, 
Oh yeah. We're good. It doesn't look like this rear axle's been swapped. I don't know why this U joint wasn't pulling up in their system. So you've got Ellie eating red hot now, like you. <laughs> and she chomps them things, huh? She chomps them. You got your ear folded back, Ellie. <laughs> I just noticed. Look at that old red pinstripe under there. Oh, just yeah. barely can see it. It's almost sad to say that off, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh man, was that as hard for you guys as it was for me? Yeah. yeah. That uh, casing machine will beat you up out there in the sun. They've all been wire brushing them, so we're gonna put a coat of paint on them. It'd be good to have a sandblaster and some primer to put on them, but we don't have that. We got some denatured alcohol left over from the RV project. I'm gonna wipe these things down before we put some paint on them. Pretty sure and clean the cracks real good. Yeah, you wanna clean your crack, guys. Don't let that thing get dirty. Since when did rattle can paint become $7 a can? I thought it was 99 cents. So what are these hoops right here off of? Let us know. This is the only one that has a pinstripe on it. And that one over there is actually a little bit different. It looks like it's about a half inch wider and a little bit different curve, but let us know. It won't accept the same hubcaps as these. These hubcaps fill on the inside and those are on the outside. I wish this hoop right here still had all the pinstripes on it, you know? Mm -hmm. That's gotta look cool. We gotta put the seats back in too. Mm -hmm. All right, we got them all painted there and let them sit out here in the sun and dry. I would have liked to have had a semi-gloss color, but they didn't have any. They were like almost out of spray paint. I guess it's like everything nowadays. You can't get some things. So we let these hoops dry the exact amount of time the manufacturer recommended. No, it's been like two seconds. We're putting it together. <laughs> it's gonna ride like a brand new one. Got some soapy water here. We need to get some like legitimate stuff to mount your casings up with. Some of that casing lube, but we don't have any of it. Remember, always white walls out, guys. There we go. There we go. Makes it a lot easier to seat the bead if you have the core out. All right, one down, three to go. Whoop, whoop. So if you're wondering about the size, like I would be, this is a 215 Travel Star. It says UN106. I don't know if that's the part number. Maybe it is. I'm gonna go ahead and fill our bowl up. I absolutely love this glass float bowl. It's so cool. I'm glad you kept the glass one on there. Yeah, I had to transfer it over, but. Put some fresh fuel in here. I mean, I used to pay the same price for race gas back in the day. Oh, Lord. What regular fuel costs now is what race gas used to be. We got our knockoff seafoam here we're going to put in the tank just to, you know, clean the engine out a little bit. Man, we've got a full set, huh? That was like awesome. Okay, time to hook the juice up to it. All six volts of it. This video brought to you by Beach Cliff Sardines. Nothing's better at the end of the day than biting the heads off one of these little wiggly fellers. Mmm, look at that. Yeah, yummy. Who's first? Nothing like one of these guys wiggling straight down your throat. Beach Cliff Sardines, chock full of lower intestines since 1953. If you don't like eating them, just open the can, slide under your coworker's desk. In a couple weeks, it'll be something all of you can share together. Now back to our regular broadcast. Are you guys ready to try to crank her up? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it, too. Finally. How many days we got now? Probably. Yeah, it's just a return spring. That was actually a little low. Fuel pump works. Shows 
time their battery's charging. Oh yeah, we got brakes. <laughs> this thing is so cool, huh? Yeah. What a neat truck. It's, the cab's so little compared to what we're used to. No adjustable seats here. No. Imagine driving around the farm back in the 50s in this thing, going to town to get your stuff. Slide your handle forward, then close the door. All right, here you go. It's really crammed in here. They weren't made to fit a lot of people. It's running so smooth now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Will it uh, do a burnout? We're not trying to do a burnout on this mm. one. There are vehicles you try to do burnout. This is not one of those vehicles. Why? Because it's too nice. You don't want to break something. I don't want to know about your falling in love. I'm done in love, been in love. Your brakes park good? We might, we might can wait a few days to let them know it's done and just park it in the yard. <laughs> so, Did your brake park good? Yeah, the return spring's not great, but the brakes work really good. Good. Though. Yeah, we need a better return spring. Do we have one in the shop, you know? I couldn't find one the other day. Uh, well, if one of y'all want to try to drive it? Yes. You do, Ralphie? I second that motion. about the gas just push the clutch in towards you and down there you go okay. now easy out on the clutch you got this oh all right Practice stop, clutch in and then brake. Oh, <laughs> brakes work! Yeah, <laughs> not used to that. let's try to take off again. Easy out on the clutch, a little too hard again. Because as soon as it grabs, you're letting off. All right, let's conquer back up. Sounds like nothing, real easy out on the clutch. You're letting out too soon. Too soon. Here, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me take off for you. Right, let me see if I can do it. A little tricky, but you got it real slow. I got it. Yeah, okay. It's cutting it close in the house. Cutting it close. <sighs> okay, it sharp. That's all it's got, huh? Watch out, Scoot. Mama, do you want to try it? Can I try to take sure. off in before she goes sure. You want to try to take off in again? Yes. Real easy. Real easy. Uh, I sorry. can do it. I don't know why you can't. You want to do it again or you want to? I'm going. Oh, oh, we're spinning. We're spinning the casings. <laughs> Watch my grass. What are you spinning for? Just keep her cut. You're doing fine. All right, why don't we give somebody else a turn? Like Wally. Wally. Wally needs a turn. All right, y'all just get out of the truck. That's all you have to do. Not a big deal at all. Sometimes you just gotta go for the outside handle. Just pull it towards you and down. Okay. All right, I'll do the throttle. How about that? Give it a little bit. Now come real easy out of the clutch. There you go. Great job. Way better than Ralphie. Way better.
Ralphie gives Wawa a little bit of grief about driving ability, yeah, but <laughs> who didn't kill it? I'm just saying. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, when you get up here, clutch first, then the brakes. All right, well, let's give it a little road test. Here we go, back on the road. We don't know exactly how many years it's been parked, but judging by the fuel system and brakes, I'm gonna say at least 15 to 20 years since this thing's been on the road. We do have a decent size exhaust leak for sure in this thing. Yeah. It just takes me back. Every time I drive something like this, it's like what it must have been like in the 50s, driving an old truck like this. Man, it's smooth on them casings, isn't it? Yeah. Just driving around back then, kids in the bed of the truck, no thought of safety. This thing's not even smoking, Ralphie. Our idle is getting a little high. We, we gotta do something like a return spray. The brakes are awesome. For old drum brakes are doing really good. We read your comments and we agree. It does need different mirrors. These mirrors are apparently from like JC Whitney or somewhere like that. They're just universal mirrors from back in the 70s and 80s. Definitely need some better ones. Yeah, that exhaust leak needs to be fixed, but we got better oil pressure now. We got like 50 pounds of oil pressure. Oh, wow. This thing's driving good. All right, we're going to gear down, Ralph, in the second gear. What a cool old truck. I don't even like trucks usually, but I really don't like this one. Well, we found somebody that's driving slower than we are here tractor traffic. That's pretty debatable. <laughs> not good okay why why are we starving for fuel i don't know what's up but it's it's not happy here we're gonna have to back down the road unfortunately man maybe we shouldn't have went down this big hill huh yeah well it is like i don't know how old pretty yeah. old i hate it when we have trouble like this yeah so we're going down uh backwards down the road now at least we have good brakes because we're on a very steep hill. I've never went backwards down a road. Yeah? Is it illegal? 
I don't know. Not if it broke down, probably. Makes sense. Mom's here to try to rescue us, so we're gonna get to the bottom of this hill and get in the driveway, see what's up, why it appears to be starving for fuel, I believe. I don't think it's sparked. We got some speed going out, don't we? Oh yeah. Don't let Maybe them. we can make it this driveway. We might actually make it. I think we're gonna make it to this driveway. Oh my gosh, Ralphie, what a, <laughs> what's wrong now? It's like it ran out of fuel is what it felt like. Yeah, the carburetor bowl is empty. Now what? I don't have anything with me to fix it. Uh, I didn't bring nothing. Probably the fuel pickup in the tank is probably stopped up from the rust in the tank. I didn't bring a single tool or anything. Do we have something I can just pull you home? <sighs> Maybe. We didn't plan this one out too well. <laughs> I can't open the back. And it's thundering right over there. So we're gonna have to get this thing home somehow pretty quickly. So we don't have our tools. So we have some tools in the back. I have a hacksaw blade and a cup. Maybe I can take the fuel fitting loose from the bottom of the tank and get it flushed out and catch the fuel and pour it in the car to get it started again. You ain't MacGyver, I don't know what is. Uh, it ain't worked yet, MacGyver. Well, I think our hacksaw blade is gonna work to take the, the hose clamp off. Ooh, how the exhaust is hot right there. It hangs down so low. So if I'm right, when I take this hose off, fuel's probably not gonna come out Oh lord. Oh gosh. A little bit's coming out. I need something to stick up in there really. I'm gonna catch this fuel and try to pour it down the carburetor vent to get it started again. Did you say you don't have a strong stream? Yeah, weak stream here. I need something to stick in the hole to try to get it. Look at my like car. Like a real thin, hard stick or something. Can I get a stick on the other side of the road? Just watch for cars. Look. I'm gonna stick this stick up through there. Oh yeah, a bunch, you see that? Mm-hmm. Ah, there we go. That was it right there. Okay, well, it's probably gonna do it again if history repeats itself. I mean, I guess there's a chance that that's all the rust that was in it, but you know how this is. Look, look at my arm, you can see all the rust bits all over my arm from it. You do have a little funnel back there? There's a little funnel. I think I might can try to help funnel this into the, Ooh, okay, a little much. Maybe we can get started and see if the pump will work. At least we got something to start off of though, since it's dry up here. <laughs> Thank you, my We left the key on the whole time. Uh. Come on. It's start now. Are you kidding me?
and it feeds not from the bottom. So every bit of rust is going in there. So probably for the first few tanks, it's gonna be like this, where it's gonna have to be checked and redone. Does it have a fuel filter? Yeah, it's got a fuel filter up here, yes. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't the pump. I was a little bit worried our new pump wasn't working right. Yeah. Can you believe we fixed it with a hacksaw blade and an old plastic dip cup? Maybe it'll make it home. We're probably, it's probably at five miles from home, something like that. So hopefully we'll make it back home with this thing. Well, we still got good oil pressure. Fuel gauge still doesn't work. Temp gauge works and we're good. We're right on E in temp. Looks like it's charging the battery. Speedometer works, 59,000 miles on this thing. prepared i know i didn't bring any i was really what worried is wrong I, with us i didn't even bring a fire extinguisher i didn't think nothing that was about not it. smart we're gonna do better from now on i know were you worried on the hill uh yeah that's yeah. a hard hill anyway i know it's like that maybe you need to save that hill for like yeah second we or should third do a different route a different route or something <laughs> Well, I can't believe you actually fixed it with a with hacksaw a blade, a, a hacksaw blade and a blade of grass, or what did you shove up in yeah, it? A stick that Wawa found, and a Thanks hacksaw blade, and a little plastic cup that was in the back. Thanks to me every time. We it's crazy. Look how good it looks, though. It's beautiful. We need to do a walk truck. around on it. I didn't even walk around it. It's a beautiful truck. Man, it would be really nice if it had these caps all the way around, but man. Needs different mirrors. I know. I know. I read your comments. Man, it rode really good on the new casings, didn't it? Yeah, it it did. did. Wawa did a great job driving. So did Ralphie. So this thing is, uh, I think we're kind of went as far as we're going to go with it on our part. We're going to deliver it back to the owners at some point. We may make a video on delivering it back to them, but what a cool truck, huh? Really, really neat truck. I love the front end on these. And I'm not a truck person. You, know, you guys know I'm not really a truck person, but really like this whole truck what a cool truck what do you got wawa got look at this guy Trisley. what in the world is going on with your hair bro i love him is it a he silky is... is that what it's called yeah. so he got a silky baby look. chicks we actually got five or afro. six of them. i love awesome. it his hair is awesome you should, you should we're gonna have to name him maybe you guys could name him why don't you comment below what the little silky chicken should be named is it a boy we don't know i don't, I don't know, know. Yeah, I, I would say yes on the boy but probably we'll have to wait okay well you guys name the new silky baby chick for us okay well it's time to finish this one off i gotta go out here with the animals right rocky and vainia and rocky jr and rocky jr and rocky jr and rocky jr <laughs> she's wanting her rc colon you know this went pretty well i mean only one hiccup and we were able to fix it and get home what a cool truck what a cool story with the family that own this thing it's so neat Oh, Rocky, what are you doing? You don't even like RC Cola. But we may make another video delivering it. I'm not sure. Just depends on what we do. If we try to drive it there, haul it, or, you know, if they want to be on camera, whatever. We need to get back on some of the other projects around here. We got to get the Super Coop buttoned up to do some burnouts, don't we? Oh, yeah. Some donuts, don't you guys think? It would be I great donuts. Completely. But drink your RC Cola. Eat your Vainas. I mean, Rocky eats Vainas. How could they be bad for you if Rocky eats them, right? You know, show some respect and pour one out for your homies. 
She's lapping the juice up already. We're gonna get back on the Malibu. We're gonna get back on the Super Coupe and the Savoy and the darts and everything else around here we need to be working on. We got Fairmonts and LTDs and Thunderbirds and you know, I really want to get the Fairmont Futura, the red one done, but uh, waiting on one more part for it. There you go. Come on, Rocky eats them. But we really appreciate you guys following along with us. Uh, appreciate all the views lately. It's really been incredible uh, how many views we've got lately. Uh, thank you to everyone. You can check out our second channel at... You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... Sleeper You were no help on that one. I was drinking a cola. You can buy our merchandise below. We don't have a website. Everybody asks that. Maybe one day. But uh, below the videos is pictures of shirts. If you click on it, it'll take you to Teespring's website. That was a piece of vein that came out of my mouth. But Teespring's website, and you can buy shirts on there. We have them priced as low as possible on there because... We're not really trying to make uh, you know, a bunch of money on them. We're just trying to get the name out there. Uh, most of them are priced. They are priced, all of them, as low as possible. So check those out. Rocky, you are so uncomfortable when you stand on me. His stomach is so oh, big, though. His belly is big because he eats all day. He's been out in the field all day eating. But we're probably going to have to get inside before it uh, thunderstorms on us. Remi like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of the Garth Brooks song. Look, mean Rocky Baby Jr. over there, he always runs into the wife with his horns. No, that one's not open. Here, here. She can't here see There you go. Mm-hmm. Slow is. down, slow down. That's good stuff for her. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, look how she smashes her lips afterwards. Magical <laughs> pig. Granny hasn't been on me in the videos lately because she's been out in the big field because she doesn't hardly have any teeth, so we feel sorry for her and let her eat in the big field. She's a sweet old gal, aren't you? And she's a looker, you know? Look hey, pudding at these baby. I know. Right she here. got them childbearing hips, don't she? Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, let's get in before it rains, guys. It's uh, sprinkling right now. So, out, just girl. in time on this one. See you in the next video, guys. Peace out, my homeboy. Peace out, my homeboy. Girls yeah. with the girls. Can you have some clothes that fit you? Yeah, he likes shirts that don't fit him. He wears my shirts. Wait.